the MCAT is hard and the MCAT is important. Hi everyone, it's Taya. Welcome to my channel where you'll learn the best tips and tricks on studying, productivity, and organization. It's been so long since I've been able to sit down and make a video where I'm talking to y'all and that's because I've been studying so hard for the MCAT. And let me tell you, when people say the MCAT is hard and the MCAT is important, the MCAT is hard and the MCAT is important. Honestly, the hardest part about studying for the MCAT is creating the schedule and then finding all the resources that you need. And today I'm so excited to share this amazing resource that I put together for all of my fellow pre-meds getting ready to take the MCAT. So as I've been studying for the MCAT, I started in January. Um, I taught myself how to use Reddit, which isn't super hard, but it can be difficult if you don't know what's going on. Um, and I also learned about some amazing Facebook groups, which I will link in the description under this video. So make sure to check them out. And I went through all of these different places and I put all of the resources that I found and that I've been using to study for the MCAT in a Google Doc. And today I'm going to show y'all how to go to the Google Doc, find the different resources in it, and the link will be down below in the description. If you are studying for the MCAT, please feel free to add yourself to this doc. I am opening it for everyone to use it. It contains all of the schedules that I have made, all of the trackers I've made for the different resources to keep track of what I've done. And it also has some of the things I'm using to apply to medical school. And like I said, I'm gonna walk y'all through some of the bigger parts of this doc right now so you know how to go through it and you know how to use it so that you can have a very successful studying season and then kill the MCAT. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so the drive is titled MCAT and Pre-Medical Resources, and the first thing you're going to see is this Read Me First document. Everyone, please take a second and read through this. It just details why I made the entire drive, and it also goes over my recommended strategy for creating your study plan, and then also some important tips for actually studying for the MCAT. Super important tips and tricks, please check them out. The next thing you'll see is a folder for schedules, trackers, and templates. Everything you're going to find in here, um, you have your MCAT review schedule, a way to track your letters of recommendations, um, a packet that I made um, and you can use as your skeleton to put your packet together. There's also super important things from the AAMC um, and then a basic Kaplan three month study plan. You can also find more information from Kaplan on their website, but this is where you'll find all of your trackers um, and any blank docs that I created for you to use. Now in your review docs and links folder, these are a lot of the different documents that I found on Reddit and other pre-medical forums, um, other Facebook groups. Take your time and look through these and find out which ones um, work for you. Two really important ones that I want to point out um, is the 300 page doc by the MCAT bros and then also the MCAT AAMC content outline. This is completely filled out and it has all the information for each of the points that the AAMC that you, says you need to know. Another important doc in this section is the useful links. Here you'll find links to the online Kaplan books and then different links to different MCAT pre-medical forums that you want to check out while getting ready to study. The next folder has your links to all of your practice exams. Whenever you're creating your study plan, look through this and see which ones work for you. I would recommend using all of these. I used all of these in my own study plan. And next you have your notes. So I went through and took notes on all of the Kaplan books. So if we open up the organic chemistry, I took notes on all of the chapters in the organic chemistry book. And then I also did this for all of the other books from Kaplan. Please use this how you will. If you go through and read it yourself and then you can use my notes to review another day, they're pretty detailed and I condensed them down as much as possible. I also took notes on the lab technique doc that was in the previous folder. Um, this just condensed everything down and put it into more words, it explained different parts that weren't very clear to me. And then the last folder is the one with all the Anki decks. So I have 
an Excel sheet with the links to all of the popular Anki decks, which you're gonna come across when you're looking through all of the Reddit and the prospective doctor forums. So here is the link to all of them so you don't have to do too much digging. You're gonna come across Rebop, um, and these are all of his Anki decks. I've separated them out into their respective, their respective topic, and then you go in and they're separated by chapter. So this is my drive that I have created for everyone. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment down below or you can send me an email and I'll be happy to answer. I'll probably end up creating um, an FAQ to explain some of the different parts if anyone has specific questions. This is for all of you. Um, good luck with your studying. Like I said, I did this because it was such a struggle for me. So I know that's, that this will help other people. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all next time. Yeah.